editing the default hatch style of the sectioned objects. So here I have a sectioned uh, object and I have a hatch pattern here. And if I want to uh, change what the default hatch style is, I need to pick on the existing hatch. I need to right click and I want to go to my uh, edit hatch style. And then in my edit hatch style, I want to come up to this new button. Now, typically right now, I'm putting in a general or sometimes the general is referred to as the cast iron. And not every part we make by default is cast iron. So I'm going to go up to new and I'm going to give it a new local style. And I'm going to call this mild steel. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to set the settings of my hatch pattern to equal mild steel. So that would be an ANSI 32. The angle's good, the scale's good, shift is good. I don't need to double it. Uh, I could put comments in, but I won't. And I'll say save and close. Now I need to modify that default hatch properties uh, of the object defaults. So what I'm going to do is pick on this hatch again. I'm going to right click and now I'm going to say edit hatch style. So when I go to the edit hatch style, you can see here's my mild steel here, which is fine in my hatch. I want to come down to my object defaults. So I'm going to hit the plus sign on my object defaults. And you can see down here when I click on my object defaults, ANSI, it says an incorrect object default style uh, is set in the object. I'm just going to say OK. A little error message there. And this will bring me up into uh, all my objects. I want to scroll down until I find my section. Uh, come down here until I find my section hatch. Now, I'm going to pick on my section hatch. I'm going to come over here and say object style. And it says hatch ANSI. I'm going to hit the drop down arrow and I'm going to choose mild steel. All right, and in this case now, I can hit save and close. And I still get that error message, uh, which is fine. And so now, the next time I go to hatch, um, I will have the default hatch style will be my mild steel.